Cat grooming suggestions ever wonder why a few cats continually look glossy and exquisite and others look like, well, like something the cat dragged in? At the same time as it's actual that a few cats, like a few people, are just born with good hair, quite a few it has to do with grooming. Now, cats are fastidious critters. They have a tendency to attend to themselves quite properly, usually licking their fur to keep it easy and in its right region. However any cat can pass from fluffy to scruffy without a little help from her human pals. Longhair vs Shorthair Cats The magnificent coat of a champion Persian is sincerely a work of artwork. However you'd better agree with that it took hours of everyday grooming to get it, and keep it, that manner. It's common feel that the extra hair there is to take care of, the extra work that goes into it. The fluffier the cat's hair, the more likely it's miles to form mats, too. Those thick tangles of hair can be painful and even tear a cat's skin if the mats get horrific enough. Mats get embarrassing for a cat, too, for the reason that most effective manner to get rid of actually horrific ones is to shave them off. Nothing seems extra uncomfortable than a cat who has been shaved. It is no longer that shorthair cats do not want regular grooming or in no way get mats, they do. It's simply that their shorter, coarser outer coat requires decreased preservation than a long, silky coat. A shorthair cat who's diligent approximately her very own grooming habitual can do loads to make up for an proprietor who's a touch lazy with the brush and comb. However normal grooming remains a have-to for both longhair and shorthair cats. Cats use their tongue and teeth for grooming. Every time Tabby is going into her contortionist bathing routine, she's swallowing hair. The greater hair she has, and the extra grooming she does, the extra hair she swallows. Hair doesn't digest and may clump up in a cat's belly and intestines to shape hairballs. The least risky, but nonetheless as a substitute ugly, side effect of hairballs is your cat coughing them up, quite regularly at times or in locations you would plenty rather she didn't. On a more extreme note, a variety of swallowed hair can surely block your cat's intestines, calling for an operation to keep her lifestyles. The lowest line, as they are saying inside the city, is to make investments some greenbacks in a broom and comb, and use them. Do I need a expert groomer? Because longhair cats want everyday grooming, with day-by-day -day grooming surely being the high quality, you would possibly need to consult your budget earlier than answering this query. However even if you have the method to convey your longhair cat to a expert groomer weekly, you ought to still have grooming equipment available at home, and understand the way to use them. You by no means recognize when your cat may get into something that needs to be combed out right away or while she might need a hint up between trips to the groomer. The primary benefits of a expert groomer are schooling, talent, and enjoy. A very good groomer can get your cat's coat looking spiffy speedy and humanely, with a minimal quantity of trauma. Surely horrific mats and tangles can be handled at domestic, however if you've never carried out that sort of issue earlier then, you run the danger of wounding your cat and damage so that it will in all likelihood need veterinary attention. Such grooming problems are probable first rate left to the professionals, too. Even folks that learn to wield a slicker brush and metallic comb with a good quantity of information will flip to a professional groomer sometimes. It may be for a terrible mat or tangle, in the course of a mainly heavy length of shedding, or simply to get the whole treatment in order that tabby seems her quality. Gear and tips for at domestic grooming Each cat owner wishes a few grooming components. A metal comb is the maximum essential primary grooming device. Sturdy stainless steel combs with wide set, round teeth are extensively to be had and reasonably priced. A slicker brush has bristles that look like dozens of tiny bent nails. They resemble the rasps on a cat's tongue and serve the identical purpose in grooming. Most cats experience the sensation of the slicker brush and the steel comb, until, of path, you hit a tangle or mat. You can also want to invest in a flea comb, specifically in case you allow your cat exterior, stay in a year-round flea weather, like southern Florida or Louisiana, or have other pets who cross exterior. Flea combs look like metal combs but with very exceptional enamel set near collectively. Flea combs can be used for ordinary grooming, as a contact up after the slicker brush or metallic comb. Grooming mitts healthy over your whole hand and can help you paintings a bigger floor whilst petting your cat. Here are a few pointers for domestic grooming. Make it amusing, maximum cats love being stroked and enjoy the sensation of light grooming. 
It is excellent social behavior, cats who get along properly will blissfully groom each different for lengthy durations of time. While it is time to perform a little grooming, technique your cat in a friendly way, and intersperse the grooming strokes with a few ordinary petting. Use restraint, it is K to restrain your cat, gently, as long as she doesn't start to panic, however be sure to restrain yourself, too. Don't attempt to force your cat to sit down nonetheless or live in a clumsy or uncomfortable position for too lengthy. And be careful not to get too exuberant on your grooming strokes. Consider how an awful lot you do not like having your hair pulled, then imagine what it is want to have hair getting pulled all over your frame. Recognize whilst to end, you may not be capable of groom your cat absolutely in one consultation. It really is okay. In case you get her lower back and tail, after which she starts off evolve to combat you, surrender and strive completing in a day or. It is better to have a one half dozen five minute grooming classes unfold out over per week and a happy cat than one 25 minute struggle and a cat who runs and hides at the sight of the comb. Get expert assist, in case your cat has a horrific mat or tangle, or gets something nasty on her fur, position a name into your veterinarian or expert groomer. In case your cat just does not seem to be cooperating with domestic grooming, agenda an appointment with a expert. Whilst you are there, ask for some suggestions and an indication of primary strategies. Groomers are usually satisfied to try this for clients, there may be nothing more annoying for a groomer than having to constantly shave out and untangle bad mats. The cat suffers, and the groomer is much more likely to get bitten or scratched. Grooming is simplest part of the story, however. Within the subsequent phase, we will take a look at a few guidelines for bathing your cat. A way to clip your cat's nails you could put money into specialized cat nail clippers in case you'd like, however everyday human nail clippers will work just as well. Restrain the cat with a gentle football preserve. Gently squeeze the cat's toe between your thumb and forefinger, extending the nail. Lightly clip off the pointy tip, being careful to live inside the clear component towards the end of the nail you ought to be able to see the reddish brief through the nail, don't cut this far or you'll reason soreness and bleeding. Repeat with every toe. No cat enjoys having her nails trimmed, however if you begin them as kittens it will be less complicated whilst they are adults. Additionally make sure to play with your cat's paws and FT for amusing from time to time, too, in any other case she'll constantly recognize you are going to cut her nails the minute you're taking maintain of her paw. Cat bathing pointers besides for casting off a mat or performing a clinical manner, there's almost no other reason to shave a cat's hair. Cats are built to have a complete coat of hair, taking it away can throw off regulation of their frame temperature and disclose the usually included pores and skin below. Trimming a long hair cat's coat for appearances and to prevent tangles is nice, however it ought to be done via a professional groomer. It's generally not necessary to wash a cat, either, for the reason that they accomplish that well preserving themselves easy. Every now and then, though, a bath is called for to treat or control fleas, to smooth up an adventurous tomcat explorer, to deal with a skin situation, or to put off a noxious or dangerous mess out of your cat's fur. The squeamish, the inexperienced, and the uncertain need to possibly allow a veterinarian or groomer cope with these obligatory baths. For individuals who want to attempt it at home, right here are numerous bath basics. Be prepared, lay out your bathing substances beforehand of time. You'll want a great pet shampoo, get medicated shampoos for fleas or skin conditions out of your vet, now not over the counter, a huge fluffy towel, a broom and comb, and both a handheld shower head or plastic tumbler for wetting and rinsing. It is a great concept to comb out your cat's hair earlier than bathing, if feasible, mainly for long hairs. If you recognize how, now's the time to trim your cat's nails. Note, you may shield your cat's eyes throughout a bathtub with a neutral ophthalmic ointment to be had out of your veterinarian, geared up your bathing stations, use a massive sink with a dish sprayer attachment or the bathtub. Start the water before you put the cat in, and ensure it is no longer too hot or too bloodless. A relaxed temperature to your arms should work quality. You will get wet, splattered with suds, and possibly jumped on through an disillusioned, sopping cat, so get dressed accurately in garments which can get dirty but protect you from scratches. Before you upload the cat, bathing a cat is usually a man or woman activity, one to restrain and one to wash, but you may do it yourself. 
Either way, exercise restraint techniques on dry land before the bath. With one hand, hold close your cat firmly but gently at the bottom of the neck or on the scruff, urgent down slightly. See how nicely you can attain the various components of your cat's body with the alternative hand. Parent out when and how you may must change grips during the bath. Get your bathing recurring down step with the aid of step before the cat is within the bathtub or sink, otherwise, Tabby can be able to make a damage for it for your second of hesitation or confusion. Start the suds, wet down your cat, beginning from the top and working your way to the tail. Follow the shampoo the equal way, lather, and rinse very well. Read the label directions on medicated shampoos carefully. Some require 5 to 15 minutes earlier than rinsing in order to be effective, thorough rinsing is vital. Leftover soap residue can irritate your cat's skin or be swallowed while your cat licks her fur. Rinsing also receives rid of fleas and other parasites which might be immobilized, however not killed, by the bathtub. Drying a cat, lightly squeeze extra water out of your cat's fur, wrap her up in a massive fluffy towel, and dry her off. If she'll stand for it, you may comb out any tangles right away, otherwise, wait till she's dried off and settled down. In case you're lucky, your cat can also tolerate the sound and experience of a blow dryer. Don't assume it, though, many cats are terrified by means of them. This isn't something to discover proper after a bath. See how your cat reacts to the blow dryer on a non-bathtub day. If she's scared witless, stick with a towel. You is probably able to progressively get her used to the sound and experience, especially if you start regular baths in kittenhood, and however, you might not. A big part of keeping your cat healthy is disposing of capacity risks from your cat's environment. On the following web page, we can show you how to cat-proof your property. The way to cat evidence your private home we all realize to hold risky materials away from youngsters, and it is crucial to keep in mind that we need to be even more cautious with cats. All of us understand the old announcing about what interest did to the cat. Because they may be smaller, extra mobile, and have more touchy noses than children, cats are much more likely to investigate, entering into matters that may be dangerous. To prevent your cat's curiosity from becoming fatal, there are a few household risks to appearance out for. Material, blind, and electrical cords, for your cat's eye, the dangling end of a material or blind twine is an open invitation to play, and likely to disaster. Even simply crawling between drapes or blinds and the window, an all-time favored feline activity can land tabby in a tangle. Cats who get caught in the loops of pull cords panic. No less than, the blinds or material rod will come down with a crash. At worst, a cat can strangle, do fatal inner harm, or absolutely get so worked up that his coronary heart offers out. For max protection, tie or wrap all window cords well out of pussycat attain. Electric and smartphone cords pose something of a tangling hazard however more often are risky attributable to chewing. It is probably the taste or texture of the plastic coating, however for some motive, a variety of cats cannot withstand nibbling. There may be no longer a good deal direct risk in chewing telephone cords, except while you try and make a call on a line that has been placed out of fee by means of your cat due to the fact that there may be little or no modern day jogging through them. Electrical cords are another tale altogether, of direction. Any place viable, run the cords under rugs and carpets or in the back of furnishings that sits flush to the floor and wall. If a twine has to be run wherein a cat can attain it, buy some cheaper plastic conduit that is available at most hardware and building deliver stores. For a bigger investment, you can get flat strips of heavy-duty vinyl that not only guard the electrical cords, however also preserve the cords flush to the floor to prevent tripping. From time to time, a very decided cat will make his manner through all of the bodily obstacles. Treating the cords with a horrific tasting substance like sour apple might do the trick. A bit conduct change, using positive reinforcement, will assist, too. Cleansing fluids, antifreeze, and other poisons. We don't just buy cleaners to get our residence clean, we need it disinfected and smelling excellent, too. Sadly, some of the very merchandise we purchase to sanitize and deodorize puppy regions are outright risky to your cat. 
Alpine-based cleaners and people containing phenol the most famous being Lysol disinfectant are specially poisonous to cats and should not be used on food bowls or in puppy regions, snoozing quarters, or litter packing containers. Of course, any cleaning compound can be poisonous if taken internally, so maintain the whole lot secured in a locking cabinet. A simple spring latch might not preserve a determinedly curious cat out. Ethylene glycol is the stuff that makes antifreeze work. It just so occurs that it additionally smells and tastes very sweet. A significant number of cats and puppies, or even small youngsters, suffer from ethylene glycol poisoning each wintry weather. Because it's present in massive quantities in nearly each home and is frequently very fatal if swallowed, antifreeze and other products containing ethylene glycol need to be taken into consideration risky and never left wherein pets or children can get to them. Cats who cross exterior run the broad chance of lapping up antifreeze spills and drips, and specifically tempting aspect for a thirsty cat to do due to the fact the one's puddles of tasty liquid do not freeze on bloodless days. You can shield your personal cat and other out-of-doors cats and strays via at once cleaning up and washing down any of your own spills or drips, or you can purchase one of the new reliable manufacturers of antifreeze that contain propylene glycol in preference to ethylene glycol. It's vital to additionally keep in mind that as soon as your cat leaves your own home, there may be no assure that everybody else within the area goes to be equally cautious. In popular, something it is toxic to you will be poisonous to your cat as well. The rule of thumb of thumb is, if you'd maintain it out of a tain of a baby, hold it out of reach of your cat. Poisonous vegetation, a cat chewing in your houseplants is more than an annoyance, it may be risky or may be fatal to the cat. Technically, any plant that makes your cat sick while eaten is a toxic plant. Almost all cats will consume grass or flowers to purge themselves, but, so vomiting on my own won't be a dependable signal of poisoning, nevertheless, some flora have especially extreme effects. The listing of potentially toxic plant life consists of, apricot pits, azalea, buttercup, caladium, calla lily, castorbian, cherry, twigs, leaves, bark, fruit, and stones, chrysanthemums, crocus, daffodil bulbs, daphne, berries, holly, hydrangea, iris, leaves, roots, and fleshy components, ivy, lily of the valley, leaves, flowers, roots, mistletoe, specifically the berries, mushrooms, narcissus bulbs, oak, acorns, young shoots, and leaves, oleander, peach, pits, philodendron, poison ivy, potatoes, eyes, and sprouts from the eyes, the suitable for eating part of the potato is secure, privet, rhubarb, leaves, rosary pea, shiny crimson and black seeds, big name of Bethlehem, bulb, string of pearls, sumac, and candy pea, seeds and pods. Diefenbachia is a reasonably common houseplant that still is going by the name of dumb cane. The dumb cane is aptly named. Chewing Diefenbachia can simply paralyze your cat's mouth, making it impossible for him to consume and drink. The call, dumb cane, comes from the maximum substantial effect of this paralysis on human beings, they can not talk. Poinsettias, Christmas flowers, belong to the nightshade own family, flora notorious in reality and literature for his or her lethal properties. A take a look at some years again regarded to show that poinsettias, long believed to be dangerously poisonous to cats and dogs, don't make cats any sicker than many flora taken into consideration non-poisonous. Nevertheless, it's usually safest to keep cats far from any houseplant, simply to make certain. Windows, balconies, and screens, excessive rise syndrome, might sound like a few type of pop psychology reason behind violent crime, however it definitely describes a virulent disease that hits a number of cats every year, specifically in hotter weather. Excessive upward thrust syndrome, is a collection of numerous accidents which might be the result of a fall from a excessive window. Amazingly, there are many memories of cats surviving falls from several flights up. However there are some distance more who fell and didn't make it. The saddest part of its far almost all of these falls might have been prevented. Every window that you plan to open desires to have a display screen. And now not just any display screen. A cat-proof screen has to healthy the window body securely sufficient to live firmly in place when confronted by 10 or greater pounds of cat. When ordering or changing screens, use a heavy-duty grade of hardware cloth on the grounds that ordinary screens can be easily torn with the aid of claws or teeth. 
Even a fall from a second or third tail window can purpose serious damage or loss of life, so inspect all displays regularly, mainly toward the quit of winter in cold climate regions of the United States. Monitors can warp, tear, or fatigue inside the low season. Some Metropolis cat proprietors assume letting Tabby out at the balcony of their rental as a secure way to provide him some clean air and sunshine. Surely, an amazing number of high upward thrust syndrome cats had been stalking moths, birds, or other impossible to resist things on an top floor balcony, whilst in sick timed pounds or ignored steps sent them over the railing. Even a leash or tether on an open balcony would not make sure your cat's safety. A panicked cat dangling by his collar or harness can be strangled, seriously injured, or squirm free and fall anyway. Even though you buy toys to amuse your cat, the wrong toy may be risky. In the subsequent segment, we will train you what toys are safe to your cat. The Animal Poison Manage Hotline, my cat is a chowhound, she never misses a meal, one cat owner recalls. So while she did not come going for walks at dinner time, I knew something turned into very wrong. I found her underneath the mattress, and when I coaxed her out, she became marvelous and drooling. I used to be terrified. She had this humorous odor, which I identified because the cleansing fluid I stored in my linen closet. I ran to the closet, and I discovered the door open and the can of cleaning fluid spilled at the ground. The hassle is, we live an excellent half hour from the nearest veterinarian. I failed to recognize how long she have been poisoned, and that I wasn't certain that she had any other one half hour to spare. Then I remembered about the hotline, and it saved my cat's lifestyles. The ASPCA Countrywide Animal Poison Control Middle also called the Animal Poison Hotline is operated by the College of Illinois University of Veterinary Medicinal Drug. Name 1-888-426-4435. There is a $55 flat charge, chargeable to a credit score card, have your rate card ready. For extra statistics, touch ASPCA Animal Poison Manage Middle, 1717 South Philo Road, Suite 36, Urbana, Illinois 61802. Cat toys it's like something right out of a Norman Rockwell painting, a fuzzy little kitten tumbling around with a ball of yarn. Properly, Old Norman seemingly in no way had to rush his cat to the vet for emergency surgical operation to get a couple of FT of that yarn unraveled from the negative cat's digestive tract. Yarn and string can flip even the most disinterested cats wide-eyed and playful but need to by no means be left in which cats or kittens can get at it on their very own. Besides choking and intestinal blockage dangers, a cat who receives snarled in string or yarn, even throughout supervised play, can panic and injure himself, probable fatally. Take special care to hold sewing thread and dental floss out of feline reach, it's lots finer and might come to be embedded in the tissues of your cat's mouth, stomach, and intestines. Cats will turn anything vibrant, crinkly, or small enough to bat throughout the floor right into a toy. On account that Tabby does not have fingers, he has to select up those makeshift toys in his mouth, wherein they can be effortlessly swallowed or if no longer effortlessly swallowed, can purpose choking. At fine, a overseas item in your cat's digestive machine can cause vomiting or diarrhea, but it could regularly be much worse. Keep things like paper clips, foil, and rubber bands appropriately tucked away. Cellophane candy wrappers are particularly dangerous. Cats cannot withstand the crinkly texture, and the sugary residue makes them a cinch to get eaten. The wrappers can liquefy to your cat's stomach, coating the lining and blockading the uptake of vitamins from meals. What makes for a safe cat toy? Here's what to look for, some things sturdy, if it may get tossed, thrown, gnawed, clawed, batted, kicked, licked, and repeatedly pounced on without coming aside, it's a terrific cat toy. Catnip-filled toys inspire play, but maximum cats like to consume catnip and could attempt to lick and chew their way to that scrumptious herbal filling. Catnip toys crafted from mild material or felt will maximum possibly be in shreds and the shreds for your cat's tummy, within per week. Ditto for plastic or vinyl toys that can be chewed up, cracked, or shattered. No, re, movable components, catnip mice with yarn tails, crinkly cater pillars with computer virus eyes, outsized plush bumblebees with glued on felt features, and plastic mesh balls with tantalizing little bells interior are four of the extra popular cat toys. But they proportion a not unusual failing, small and potentially risky elements that come off. 
If you could pull or peel a element or ornament off a cat toy, the percentages are your cat can, too. In fact, cross ahead and strive it with all your cat's toys, it is higher to have some catnip mice without tails than make a trip to the vet to get the tails from your cat's stomach. Something fun, a toy simply isn't a toy if your cat may not play with it. Cat owners are frequently disillusioned and regularly irritated to locate that the $100 really worth of custom cat toys they carry home get passed over for a bit of crumpled paper or a easy table tennis ball. Cats like video games that contain what they do satisfactory, mountain climbing, jogging, leaping, stalking, and pouncing. Pick toys that inspire those behaviors, and your cat is bound to use them. It's the charm of the table tennis ball, it rolls and hops and skitters away when your cat pounces on it, encouraging batting and chasing. Cats see moving edges higher than stationary items, so toys that wiggle, bob, or weave fascinate them and cause the stalking and looking reflexes. In our very last segment, we will cowl perhaps the maximum critical a part of being concerned for you pet, locating a good veterinarian. Locating an excellent vet for your cat is just as crucial as locating a terrific health practitioner for yourself. Veterinarian visits and vaccinations Choosing a veterinarian in your cat is a lot like deciding on a doctor for yourself. You want someone with an excellent bedside manner and a person you want and agree with. When you have special wishes, you furthermore MGHT need a health practitioner who is aware and maintains the one's desires in mind. Locating a vet in case you're a first-time cat owner, have these days moved to a brand new vicinity, or need to find a new veterinarian, you can just try opening the phone book to animal hospitals. All veterinarians go to school as a few years as medical medical doctors and ought to meet strict standards for licensing, so you're certain to find a in a position and professional vet that manner. But the dating amongst you, your pet, and your vet is going to last for many years, and if you took the time to discover just the right cat, it makes feel to discover the right vet. This is probably the one location wherein town folks have it over USA folk. A small town might also just have one vet, whilst a massive town has dozens inside numerous miles. Besides the telephone book, here are some other resources for finding an amazing veterinarian, touch expert agencies. The American Veterinary Medical Affiliation www.avma.org can refer you to affiliated veterinarians for your place, and the American Animal Clinic Affiliation www.ahanet.org can direct you to clinics that meet its requirements. The AVMA also can assist you discover feline experts, behavior experts, veterinary eye medical doctors, and other experts. Like all expert, though, anticipate to pay heftier prices. Get recommendations from different cat humans. Friends, family, and acquaintances who have cats generally also have veterinarians. Take gain in their revel in, and get suggestions from them. Look earlier than you bounce once you get a referral for a veterinarian, name up, introduce yourself, and find out when you may drop by using to peer the facilities and meet the doctors. Make your go-to quick but thorough. Be discriminating, but do not be cast off if the vet and the health center team of workers cannot spend a long term with you, they do have a health facility to run and patients to attend to. When you have quite a few questions and need the vet's undivided interest, the maximum polite element to do is make an appointment, and provide to pay for it. In case you are going to drop by the ability and meet with the vet, right here are a few gadgets to bear in mind, before you meet with the vet, determine what your wants and needs are in a vet and a veterinary hospital. Whether or not those want and desires are low-priced costs, the ultra-modern scientific strategies and device, or the vet's desk side manner, figuring out your priorities beforehand of time will assist construct a higher purchaser veterinarian dating. Ask approximately the practices hours, the supply of after-hour services, and whether 24-hour-a-day emergency care is supplied. Ask about the sort of offerings offered, from ordinary physical assessments to surgeries to boarding competencies, and check the clinic's expenses for every carrier. Ensure you experience relaxed with the guide team of workers as well. A friendly, attentive personnel reassures you that your puppy gets the great care feasible. Pussycat vaccinations, what exactly are vaccinations, and how do they help hold cats healthful? Right here's how most vaccines paintings. Researchers discover the germ inflicting the sickness for example, the virus that reasons pussycat distemper. Subsequent they produce a innocent, non-contagious version of the virus. 
This shape of the virus is used to vaccinate healthy cats. The vaccine triggers the cat's disease combating immune system, which assaults and destroys the virus. This publicity primes the immune device in order that if the identical virus suggests up again, even the damaging, contagious version, it will likely be destroyed earlier than it can reason contamination. Vaccines defend your cat from commonplace illnesses, in general as a result of viruses. While a virulent disease invades an animal's frame, no remedy can kill it. You could supply a cat with an endemic things like antibiotics from now till doomsday, and it might not cure the ailment even though the antibiotics will help treat or manage infections that might start because of the cats being unwell with the virus. Viral sicknesses simply should run their route, after which the sufferer is frequently immune for existence. Vaccines, usually with ordinary booster photographs, offer your cat with the blessings of being immune without truly having to suffer via the disorder. Vaccines cannot treatment diseases resulting from viruses. Going return to Tom cat distemper for a second, if a cat has already shrunk this disorder, the vaccine won't stop it. Vaccines also can't prevent every viral disease on every occasion. No vaccine is 100% effective, so each as soon as in a while a cat who has all his pictures will still get ill with some thing he is alleged to be protected in opposition to. Some illnesses, like FIV, are due to viruses that shut down the immune system once they first enter the cat's body. In those instances, the vaccine can't do its activity due to the fact its equipment the ailment fighting machine of the cat's body had been taken away. Get your cat's pictures from a veterinarian or animal hospital. On the naked minimal, cats should be up to date on their rabies shot and distemper aggregate vaccine. The mixture shot normally incorporates safety in opposition to tom cat distemper panleukopenia and commonplace higher breathing illnesses that cause cold or flu-like signs in your cat feline viral rhinotracheitis, calicivirus, and chlamydia. Vaccines can be given as an injection underneath the pores and skin or within the muscle or as an aerosol administered at once into the cat's nostrils. Any cat being vaccinated for the first time generally needs a series of shots, spaced numerous weeks apart. For kittens, these photographs start at 7 or 8 weeks of age and continue until they may be 4 months old. Rabies vaccines are given as one shot administered initially to a kitten over 3 months of age and to adults of any age. The American Association of Feline Practitioners recommends that next boosters for lots sicknesses relying at the kind of vaccine used except a 12 months from the initial series and then each three years thereafter. Take a look at along with your veterinarian for vaccine scheduling pointers for your cat. Vaccines for different cat sicknesses have been around because the mid-1980s, particularly the one for pussycat leukemia virus felv, Felv, or Feluk, as it's once in a while acknowledged, attacks a cat's white blood cells and can produce a kind of cancer. Studies shows that most cats exposed to Felv don't get sick, but even infected cats who appear wholesome can still bypass the virus onto other cats. As soon as a cat does get sick from Felv, though, the percentages of recuperation are poor. The felv is a humorous creature, it does an ultimate long outdoor of a cat's body, except it remains a little wet. So the most commonplace manner felv gets handed as extended near touch among a wholesome cat and infected cat, such things as mutual grooming, or sharing meals, water, or litter packing containers. This additionally way that the felv vaccine may not be necessary for a cat this is by no means exposed to felv inflamed cats. A simple blood take a look at can determine if your cat or any new cat you're considering taking into your own home is infected. If now not, retaining your felv unfastened cat's interior and far from felv infected cats is probably all of the protection they want outside or indoor, outside cats are a exceptional tale. If your cat assessments positive for felv, the vaccine might not help, either, vaccines do not kill the virus, they most effective defend uninfected cats from getting it. Pussycat immunodeficiency virus FIV, and tomcat infectious peritonitis FIP, also are deadly cat diseases as a result of viruses. There are laboratory exams for his or her detection, but the take a look at used currently for FIP can supply inconclusive outcomes. Vaccines exist for FIV and FIP, however the jury continues to be out on their effectiveness in preventing disease transmission. Your veterinarian assist you to determine out if your cat is at chance for those diseases and if the capability benefits of each vaccine outweigh the dangers. 
Whilst you'll face many challenges as a puppy proprietor, you currently recognize the primary care hints that each cat wishes to be glad and wholesome. Thank you for watching.